Hello everyone, this is Ms. Nasworth, your Pre-AP English teacher, and I'm making this video to tell you a little bit about me. Um, I was actually born in Hereford, Texas, which is a town that's really famous for cattle, but in actuality it's also famous for smelling really awful. Because let me tell you, when you put thousands and thousands of uh, cows in one place, they don't smell so good. Um, I moved to Clarendon, Texas, which is this little tiny town up in the Panhandle. You can see it right there with the green star. Um, I moved to Clarendon when I was six years old, and I consider it to be my hometown. Only 2,000 people lived in my entire hometown. So when I started at Nichols, there was half as many people in the building as all of Clarendon. So I was a little overwhelmed. I felt like you felt when you walked into the building. I actually have two older brothers named Jimmy. I know, it's kind of crazy, right? But um, it's a long story, I'll tell you someday. My mom still lives in Clarendon 35 years later. Can't get her to move here. She likes her small town life. Um, I moved to Fort Worth 19 years ago when I graduated from college and that's actually when I started teaching at Nichols Junior High. So this is my 19th year. So shocking, but that's me in the seventh grade playing basketball. Um, everyone always says, you are so tall, your legs are so long. But really in actuality, my shorts were just really short and the uniform was scratchy as a, was as scratchy as it is ugly um also me in the seventh grade my brother and i well my brothers and i jimmy and jimmy and i um we we paid for these photos we all had them don't talk to me about how much you don't like your student id picture i will not hear you because you have nothing i had lasers in the background paid extra for the lasers and glasses that were bigger than my whole face um, there's seventh grade again. Uh, I didn't cut my hair; it was just a French braid, and it wasn't it wasn't my best look. But I'm telling you these things because it gets better. I promise. I graduated from Clarendon High School in 1994. There were only 33 people in my entire graduating class. This is a picture of my high school before it was done, uh, before it was renovated. Um, actually, when it was first built, it was a college, and then they turned it into a high school. My first grade classroom was only 150 yards away from my senior English classroom. It was a long, long road to go not very many, many feet and not very many yards. Like I said, I was from a small town. I played basketball and softball. I begrudgingly ran cross country. I didn't like it. I still don't like to run. I run when chased. Um, I was the vice president of our student council. I was a state qualifier in three academic events, spelling, current issues and events, and editorial writing. And I won second place in the state in the editorial writing competition. And I'm going to tell you, I, was, I didn't ever feel very confident in my writing until I started competing at it. So writing's got a special place in my heart. And school was a place that I felt valued and successful. Um, my brothers were much more talented in different ways than I was. I was the baby of the family. My parents were kind of tired by the time they had me. Um, both of my parents worked a lot of time and hours at several different jobs, sometimes more than one job at once. And so school was kind of like my home. I told you, only 33 of us, and I'm pretty sure we're not all in that picture somehow, some way. I graduated from West Texas A&M University. We're the home of the Buffs, hence all the buffaloes in the pictures. We had a live buffalo as our mascot. Funny story. He ran over um, one of these dudes at one time. It was, it was not funny at the time. It's kind of funny now. Um, and I am still a big fan. This is actually my 19th year at Nichols Junior High. I need to update my PowerPoint slide. I taught seventh grade English for 18 years. I coached volleyball, basketball, cross country, and track for 13 years. Uh, I've coached and taught future doctors, lawyers, teachers and profession, uh, professors, coaches, police officers, ministers, bakers, engineers, world travelers, college athletes, national champions, WNBA and NBA players, it's true, um, and all kinds of other people. And my kids have been so successful and I know you're gonna be successful too. So I want you to think, where on my list do you wanna be someday? Do you wanna be one of these kinds of people or do you wanna be something new and different and cool? Some things about me that you should probably know. I don't like people who don't listen. I don't like laziness, although I'm tempted by it often. I don't like wet socks. They're really gross to me. In fact, I don't really like socks at all. I hate licorice. I hate the taste of it. I hate the smell of it. 
I don't like coffee in any way, shape, or form. I hate the taste of it. I hate the smell of it. I don't like hot coffee. I don't like iced coffee. I don't like coffee candy or coffee ice cream. But I don't like coffee. Save your Starbucks for your mom. Um, I don't like mornings. If you're in my in in one of my first classes, I'm really sorry. I'm not always very pleasant in the mornings, but I try. And I really don't like clowns. They're they're very scary. I don't like possums, although they do good things in the world, but they're kind of creepy. I do, however, like basketball, especially Duke University basketball. Basketball. Um, I didn't go to Duke, but I'm a big fan. I really just like all sports, um, especially at the high school and college college level. Um, I'm not super into professional sports unless it's Texas Rangers baseball. Um, I love reading. I try to read in the summertime at least one book per week. Um, and in the school year, I try to read things that I think my students might really like. I love to write. Um, I've written, I, I write for pleasure. I write for kind of like just to get my thoughts and feelings out. But I've also written some professionally. In fact, there's a couple of examples in my classroom somewhere of my professional writing. I love all breakfast foods. I like eggs. I like bacon. I like sausage. I like pancakes and French toast. I like cereal. Um, just about any kind of breakfast food. I could eat breakfast three meals a day. I really like kind people. Kindness matters. Goodness matters. I say that goodness is a boomerang. What you put out in the world, it will come back to you. I like baby laughter, so sometimes I'll just search up a video that's just babies laughing at silly things like dogs or bubbles or whatever. I really love my friends. I have the best friends in the whole world, both outside of school and in school, so you'll see them often. And I really like Diet Coke, although I'm trying to quit. I'm always trying to quit. I did give it up for like seven weeks this um, past semester or in the spring semester. And then over the summer, I've, I've fallen back into the habit. I really like helping others. So I really am looking forward to helping you guys to get better at writing and reading and all kinds of things. Um, and my favorite cartoons are, are Calvin and Hobbes comic strips. Um, Calvin is a little boy who's never doing what he's supposed to be doing. And Hobbes is his um, stuffed tiger who turns into his imaginary real tiger friend. And then I, of course, building on the theme of cats, I love my two kitty cats. I have two cats named Maggie and Pootie. But if you don't know her very well, she's Dr. Pootie Pootwell. She's very fancy. So what should you know to be a successful Mustang in Miss Nasworth's class? Well, first, you need to know that successful Mustangs listen to instructions the first time given. What does it look like to be a good listener? Have your eyes on the speaker. Track the speaker. Don't interrupt. To give the speaker nonverbal feedback. And if you're not listening, I'm going to ask you to see three before me. When you are a successful Mustang, you enter the room prepared. Entering the room prepared looks like being on time, leaving negativity at the door, having all your supplies, a binder, pen, pencil, a paper, uh, paper, journal, homework, all that good stuff. But getting your entrance ticket immediately, even if you don't have the actual paper on your desk, you should start planning what you're going to say or, or what you're going to write. Successful Mustangs ask before action. That includes everything, getting out of your seat, sharpening your pencil, throwing away a piece, a piece of trash, getting a Kleenex. If you're not sure that you can, just raise that hand. Successful Mustangs respect themselves and others. Respectful people call others by name. If you don't know it, ask. It's, it's less rude to ask someone their name than to just not call them by their name. Um, don't take things without asking. Accept no for an answer. Everyone has the right to say no. Um, and you need to uh, you need to respect if they're no. And use kind words and actions, even when you're saying no. You can say no politely and firmly, but still be kind. Treat others as you'd want to be treated, or even more, how you want your most favorite person to be treated. Think about the best person in the world that you know, the one that you love the most, most, most in the world, and then treat everyone just like you would treat that person. When you do that, you get a tip of the cap from me. <clears throat> Successful Mustangs make no excuses. We will all make mistakes. So here's what I need you to do. I need you to own it, take responsibility. I need you to know better, do better, and then brush it off. 
And I want you to remember that goodness matters. When you put goodness out in the world, it will come back to you. Um, in my classroom, that's what I expect. I expect you to be the good in the world and to see the good in the world. Always, always, always. Remember that I'm here. I'm here to help you. And we are going to have a fantastic year.